Writing a personal statement for university is one of the most challenging and daunting aspects of the university application process. However, if you are a student that is starting university next year and looking to write your personal statement, this year in the next couple of months you have life slightly easier because you have access to ai tools that will allow you to sort of help you along that process now i have to preface this by saying that ai tools are not to be used to simply copy and paste information so you shouldn't be asking it to write your personal statement and then copying that as your personal statement rather there are a few ways that you can use it that will help you with the whole kind of process going from brainstorming to think about sort of what a university course you want to apply for, editing, formatting, generating outlines and finding appropriate research literature as well. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through how to write a personal statement using AI tools and giving you the breakdown and showing you which tools to use and how you can use them. If you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to leave me a comment. Don't forget to leave me a subscribe, just nice and easy. And also leave me a thumbs up as well to let me know you really enjoy this. And once you finish writing a personal statement to make sure that it is seen by a human, send it through to us at thepagedoctor.com, which I'll leave down below for a PhD, a student researcher to edit it for you. So the first way is to brainstorm ideas. So you might be here thinking, right, I need to write a personal statement, but I don't even know what course I want to apply for. I know what I enjoy. I know the subjects that I like. I know which parts of each subject I like. I like biology, but I don't want to apply for biology. I like aspects of biology. So here's where you can use ChatGPT. So what you can do is you can ask ChatGPT, and I'm gonna show it to you right now. You can say something like, what degree should I study if I enjoy learning about, for example, politics and how it shapes society. So don't just say politics because that's going to be, that's quite obvious, just do politics, right? But think about maybe what you like about politics and what aspects of it you enjoy. So I'm, you know, I'm going to go for this one and I'm going to see what subjects it might recommend me. And that can give me a good idea for where to begin when it comes to thinking about a course that I want to apply for. So here, of course, it's going to give you the obvious, political sciences, that's an obvious choice and it's giving you a bit of information. And then it's giving you other ones that you might want to look into as well, such as sociology, economics, journalism, history, public policy, etc. So these are subjects that are related and they give you an, kind of, I guess, um, a bit of a summary as to maybe the skills that you will learn from it um, and maybe what you can do in the future with it as well. And you can even ask some more questions and you can say, okay, what um, jobs am I able to do with a degree in, let's say, um, public policy? Okay, so what jobs can I do? So you might be thinking, okay, what jobs can I do? And then you can even go on and say, how much could I earn in the UK with it? And just kind of do a good brainstorm. And that's sort of the first way and the first place that I'd start from. So here you can see the list of jobs that you can do. And then you can, like I said, you can say, which one is the highest paying job and kind of go from there. Now, the second way that you can use AI to help with your personal statement is to gather information and sources for writing the kind of aspect where you're talking about the subject in a bit more depth. So one of the things that you should really do in your personal statement is give some information about that subject, something that interests you, something relevant, something that maybe sparks a bit of joy and you know shows that you have a passion and you're willing to learn about the subjects. So if you're talking about, let's say, you want to apply for a degree in the sciences and more specifically, you love the, the kind of the research within you know cancer research for example you might want to speak about a new method a new result a new drug something new that has come up recently that has sparked your interest so what you can do here is use a, a platform called our discovery so our discovery have this tool called ask our discovery and you can go and click on it up there and it's actually quite new and it searches through all the literature out there so you can ask a question like for example what is a recent um research or research finding, let's say, um, about cancer research. And this will give you answers that will hopefully maybe find uh, something quite interesting that you can speak about that will show the admissions tutor that actually you have an interest in the subject and you're willing to learn more. So here it is, it's waiting, it is generating a summary for your question and it's going to give you a literature that you can actually open up and take a quick look at it and you know you have something to talk about in the interview. Okay, so here's a quick summary, it said that 
um, it's, it's hard to find a specific paper that goes, I haven't given much information, so it's a bit difficult, but you can see that they've spoken about different kinds of treatment, AI, machine learning, proteomics, um, immunotherapy, and these are all topics within cancer research. So you can go ahead and say, right, let me go and take a look a little bit more at maybe machine learning in cancer research. And that could be something that you're interested about and you can write in your personal statement and it will look so impressive. And yeah, here are the papers that you can um, go ahead and read that were published recently as well. Now that you have the idea, now that you know what you want to apply for, and now you have thought about some literature or some information that you want to speak about, you now need to plan an outline and actually start to write your personal statement. So here you can use a few platforms, and one in particular I really enjoy I've spoken about before is called Jenny.ai. Now this platform will allow you to actually build an outline that will give you the information that you need to put into each section and then you fill out yourself. So let's take a look. So when you first open Jenny.ai, um, it asks you what are you writing today, and so here I'm going to say that I am writing a university personal statement for a degree in politics and society and I'm specifically going to click outline builder so it can build me an outline and that's the really important part here because what you want is an outline for what exactly you need to include so I'm just going to change this into UK British English so firstly the introduction of course your academic background and achievements your interest in politics and society where it's come from and that is where maybe you can add the literature into um, experience in the field, your key skills, any influences or aspirations that you've, you know, inspirations that you've got, future goals and sort of a nice conclusion. So this is giving you a really nice outline that you of course have to go and fill in and you get rid of the kind of headings because in a personal statement you don't have headings, right? So again, you can use AI to help you with your opening statement because your opening statement for your personal statement is so, so important. It's what draws the reader in and it's the first thing that they're going to see. So Jenny is quite cool because it actually helps you overcome uh, writer, writer's blocks. So what it does is it can give you suggested sentences. So here you can, you can accept that for example. It says, in today's complex and interconnected world, the study of politics and society has become more vital than ever. And then it gets to give you some more information. And obviously, I'm not saying, and do not do this, copy and paste. That's not what the point of this is. The point is that it can give you that opening sentence that maybe helps you think about how you might want to begin writing. So you might want to speak about today's world and why it's so relevant. That's a really cool, you know, cool way to begin. So maybe you might want to think about starting it like that. Um, and you might think, okay, actually I don't like that one. I want an alternative. Um, so you can see alternatives as well and see what else comes up and help and use that to help you as inspiration more than anything else. So like I said, so far, you know, all the platforms have helped with you know, different kind of aspects of the writing, but with Jenny, it helps you with not only the actual kind of formatting, structuring, but also starting to help you actually brainstorm and write ideas. Now, the next way that AI can help you with a personal statement is actually helping you edit and revise and proofreading, of course. So for this, I would recommend using PaperPal. Um, it's free, it has a number, a kind of a limited number of suggestions that I can give you, but more than enough um, for an essay or definitely enough for a personal statement. So once you've written everything, you've kind of like collated all your information, you've written all your text, you just want to make sure that, of course, it has no spelling mistakes, no grammar mistakes, clarity and things like that. So what you can do is go on Paper Pal, and as you can see here, I've just inserted the, the well, two sentences. I don't have that much <laughs> with my personal statement, but as you can see, um, I've just put it up here and um, it has given me two kind of checks with my language. It said that I should really rephrase this, um, this sentence and I actually agree, it doesn't really need more than ever. And again here, because I'm using UK English, not American English, um, the spelling is, again needs to be corrected. So that's all good. And then you can look at synonyms as well. So let's say I don't like the word vital. I can just highlight that and then it gives me some synonyms for the word vital. Um, I think I prefer maybe important or significant. Um, so we can go with important. Um, you can also translate any text if you have to and it also checks for consistency to make sure that if you've written number two with a numerical number that you've done that throughout, for example, and not written two as, you know, as its actual full, full words. Um, so I think it's correct. Another thing here. And then you also have the co-pilot section as well, where you can ask it to sort of um, paraphrase, trim, make sound more academic. You can generate some text and you can ask questions as well. So it's a really cool, really, really cool platform that I highly recommend using as well. The key thing here is to stay authentic to your real self. None of the tips that I have given you today is to copy and paste or to just generate 
um, endless num you know endless amount of text and just copy and paste that that is absolutely not the case and you will definitely get in trouble for it and of course it's not ethical and it's not allowed within education and academia but there are ways that you can use it to help you along the process and help you as a bit of an assistant with different parts of the process that you'd usually just use Google for or you'd ask a teacher or a friend about anyway so this is allowing you to be more independent and use tools that allow you to kind of get a get your best personal statement there remember that your admissions tutors don't want to see a robotic version of what you're saying they want to see a human version they want to see and hear the passion about what you enjoy about the subject they want to know kind of what you've learned they want to know what your history is and your academic kind of you know hopes and dreams and your future um, and that isn't something that you can just ask AI to give you you have to do that yourself but like I said there are ways that you can kind of go around helping you with the outline and generating a good opening statement and a good conclusion and you know spell checking it and those things that are not changing the content or the originality of it at all. Before you submit your personal statement make sure that you give it a full proofread um, not only with AI but also give it to someone else to read take a look at it and make sure that it makes sense it flows um, it sounds human of course it sounds like you and it's something that you're proud of that you want someone else to read and you know admit you into that course in that university best of luck with it i'm sure you'll do amazingly and like i said if you do want to get some feedback and you want a human to take a look at it then do send it in to the pagedoctor.com and we will take a look at it for you and give you feedback and make sure that it all makes sense and it's ready to be submitted i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one